Hello everyone, my name is Ed Dean. I've been working with Ibis for a little over two years and today we're going to be talking about role-based security settings in Management Reporter. So here we're going to provide some insight into how a Management Reporter security is handled according to what ERP system you're using. So first we're going to go through a few slides to get us acquainted with the security and then we'll go through a demo at the end to show the specific steps that we would have taken to implement the security. We're just going to visualize how the security works. There's two portions to the Manager Reporter program. There's the Report Designer portion as well as the Report Viewer portion um, and each has uh, relevant security related to it. So if we start at the Report Designer side, on the very left is the most granular level of security all the way to the right, which uh, comprises what security a user has. So if we start from the user, he can either have security based on his specific user or what user group he is a part of. Within the user group, you have specific company access and that will roll down to every user. But beneath that user group security, you can, have, you can set individual user security. Um, and that's comprised of company access as well the role-based security, which we'll be going over, reporting tree security you could tie to a user, and then building block protection, which would prevent changes from being made to either a report or certain building blocks. Within role-based security, the roles relevant to the report designer portion of the program are generator, administrator, and designer. The names are self-explanatory for the most part. Generator, you can generate reports and view them. Designer is a level above that where you can actually design them, generate them, and view them. And administrator has all rights. And then on the right here, we've got our report viewer side. Uh, the role relevant to the report viewer is the viewer role. This is the most, it's the least amount of permissions. Basically all they can do is view a report. No, they can't edit it or generate a report. And then you have the same uh, components within the user security section, which comprises the security of the individual user. So to map what each of these roles is able to do here, we have this chart. The administrator, as I said, has every permission possible in the program. So it has these first five that the designer has, but in addition to that, it has access to every company, the security, so basically what we'll be doing in the live demo only an administrator would be able to do because we'll be editing security here. You can undo building block checkout, unprotect building blocks, which we just talked about, report queue administration, and report library administration. The next level below that is the designer role. Here you can see it's the first five permissions. Generate reports, exporting reports, creating reports, accessing the dimension sets, and then building block group administration. Generator is just generating and exporting reports. And then the viewer, it has they're just able to view the reports. They can't do anything else. So there's a bit of a difference between how you're going to handle security depending on whether you're working with Dynamics GP or Dynamics AX. So to start off with Dynamics GP, all security is handled in Management Reporter in the Management Reporter application itself. So here you can do company access. Uh, which is contingent upon the companies you have access to in GP, but you can change that access from within Management Reporter. You have the roles that are assigned in Management Reporter, um, folder permissions and library permissions, and reporting tree security. All of that, if you're connecting to a GP database, is handled within Management Reporter. AX is a little different here. Here, the company access and the roles are actually handled within the AX application itself. You cannot edit uh, those uh, security aspects within Management Reporter. But there are a few things that you can handle in Management Reporter with AX. It's folder permissions, library permissions, and reporting tree security. Those can be handled within the Management Reporter application even if you're connecting to an AX environment. So we're going to start off talking about how security would be set up in an AX environment. Just some general understanding here. This chart is fairly important in terms of AX permissions and how they map to a uh, management reporter role. So the first column on the left is AOT name, application object tree name. Um, that's how you're going to identify what, um, what's the relevant AOT object in terms of permissions for management reporter. 
the permission name is right next to it as it appears within AX. And then it has some roles, AX roles, that by default contain these permissions. So for instance, if you were assigned to the accounting manager role, management reporter would bring you over um, as a designer. Um, you, you'll notice that they're also part of the generator role. It's going to use whatever has got the most permissions if, it, if you're part of two different roles. So the designer is, uh, has more permissions than generator, so you would be a designer here as an accounting manager. Right below that, you've got the two generator roles. Um, so a CEO and a CFO, if you were assigned to one of those roles in AX, by default you would be considered a generator in Management Reporter. Um, the fourth one here is Maintain Security Settings Permission. Any security administrator role in AX is going to be brought over to Management Reporter as an administrator. And then finally, the last one is your viewer rights. So the permission is called Viewing Financial Statements here. And anyone that has that permission is going to be a viewer. The note down here on the bottom is, is important to be aware of. This last permission, it's not, it's not added by default to any users, so you're going to have to manually add that to whatever users you want to be viewers. Now that we know what permission maps to what, we would go into the System Administration Common Users, users window, and you can see which roles a, a certain user belongs to. So here we have this user highlighted, and he's a system administrator and a system user. So if we were to go back, a system administrator um, and a system user is going to be the administrator role here. So we can go down. If we go to the system administrator setup security security privileges role, we can drill further and find the specific privileges that we want. So here might be a little hard to read, but it's maintain financial statement setup is the specific privilege. Here you can see the roles that are associated with that privilege, accounting manager and supervisor, which we saw here on this chart. So that would be a designer role, maintain financial statement setup. So anyone that has that privilege, and these roles have that privilege, is going to be a um, designer. So that would be how AX security is handled. Like I said, um, that stuff is going to be within the AX application itself, so we're not going to really focus on that. We're going to want to um, talk more about the management reporter side of security here. For GP, all, all of that is handled within the management reporter application. So here we're going to um, just do a live demo, setting up users, assigning them the roles, editing company access, and so forth. And that'll uh, show pretty much every aspect of management reporter security that is available. So here we'll switch over to my desktop and bring up the... Here you can see uh, this, is the, this is the report designer portion of the program. So within the security tab of the report designer portion of the program, uh, this is what we're going to be mainly concerned with. So here are the two users that were set up already. Um, this is me, what I'm logged in as. I'm an administrator, therefore I have rights to change security setup. Um, so first we're just going to add a new user here. There are two ways. You can start, you can come up to the top left and click new, or you can right click um, the area and click new user. So here's the new user setup window. First we're going to identify which user we're talking about. Um, say we want to add the marketing auto admin here, just select it, click OK. So we just added this user. Now we got to determine what kind of uh, rights they're going to have to the program. So here are our four roles, viewer, generator, designer, and administrator. Um, when you click on each of the rows, each of the roles, um, the permissions granted will change accordingly. So there's your viewer permissions, generator permissions, designer, and then administrator is going to have everything. Um, there's one thing to notice additionally, specifically within the designer role, there's this optional permission called edit scheduled building blocks. Um, you can click that if you want the designer to be able to edit any report that falls in a report schedule. An administrator is automatically going to have that role since they have all rights. So let's uh, make them a designer and say they can edit scheduled building blocks. 
The next thing we're going to go to is, so now we've set up our user, they've got a role, we're going to need uh, them to have access to certain companies. So within the same window, uh, you can just go to the company access tab and um, check mark the box according to which company they should have access to. Simple enough. Um, so let's go ahead and click OK and um, save this user with access to those companies. Um, so now we have a new user here. Uh, let's say the marketing auto admin and MW admin should uh, fall into the same sort of security privileges, so we want to add them to a group. There's a group functionality in Management Reporter, and it allows you to set security at the group level without having to go into each individual user. So it's the same uh, process here. We can click New at the top left or New Group here. Um, let's call this Group Training. And then you just click to add each member that you um, want to be a part of the group. So we'll add these two. And then finally, you're just going to tell it which company access this group should have. And it's going to roll down to all the individual users. Um, so that was uh, groups. We're going to go into reporting tree security. Reporting trees are what holds the... Um, the hierarchy of your organization. If you want to restrict a certain part of your organization, say the administration division, to a certain user, there's security that can apply to that. Um, you just go into the reporting tree that you wanted to add security to, scroll to the right of the corresponding row, and you can double click it, and you can add individual users, or we could add um, the group we just made, say the training group. So what this is saying is only the training group uh, will be able to view any information within the administration division here. Um, blanks mean anybody can view it, um, so the other ones would be open for access. And then once you are satisfied with that, you just come to the top and save it. Um, so that was reporting tree security. There's a way to restrict building blocks so that people cannot make um, cannot edit it without a password. So say we wanted to restrict um, this building block here. It's the protect unprotect uh, symbol up in the top is how you restrict building blocks. Um, here you can see uh, what it's going to say, what it's going to do. A building block report de definition can be protected by applying a password. The, bu the building block or report definition can be opened as read only by users without a password. So any um, edits uh, to be made must be done by someone with this password. Um, as an administrator, you're not going to be restricted to that, but any other user, like a designer, is going to um, have to enter in that password uh, if they want to change anything in the restricted building block. Um, now we can move on to the library portion of the program, uh, the report viewer. So like I said, there's two parts to it. That was the report designer. The report viewer is where um, you can, as the name suggests, view all, all the reports you've generated. Um, the viewer role is going to have access to this program, and so will anybody um, that has a generator, designer, or administrator role. So there's certain security that you can um, perform here as well. It's uh, library security is what it would be called. Um, so you can restrict these folders on who can access these folders as well as the entire library itself. Let's restrict um, one of these subfolders first. So um, here, let me go ahead and remove that. We can add a uh, individual user once again, or we can add a entire group. Um, so first, let's just go ahead and add that training group we had. Um, now, once you add it, you can tell what they're you can tell what they're able to do within this folder. So by default, it, it chooses that they can view it. Uh, we could say that they could edit it, as in they could add files to the folder. Um, and they can make changes to the name and whatnot. Create and delete the folder um, are, are two other permission options. 
Let's go ahead and just leave them as viewing the folder. Let's say we don't want them to be able to edit it and create or delete the folder. You'll notice another thing, this test group. It was assigned certain permissions, view permissions, to the library um, folder itself. So you can see within the library folder, if you go into any subfolders, those permissions will be um, will flow down to uh, all the individual folders within the library. Um, you can create new folders by right-clicking the library and clicking new folder. And obviously you can add permissions to any new folders. Um, in terms of uh, making the reports go there, you're just going to want to go to your output and distribution tab and um, you can generate this to the library, but if it's uh, sensitive information on the report, you might want to generate it to a folder, a specific folder that has security tied to it that only, say, administrators can view. Um, finally, there's the option to uh, send these reports, report links to a shared folder um, on your network. That way, anybody on the network can access these folders. So if you were to um, place a UNC path there or a shared folder where it's, going to, where it's going to generate the report, you could go to the specific folder that you designated. Say Management Reporter Reports is our folder. We can right-click it and go to Properties, Security, and we can change the folder security here on our shared folder. Um, this is general Windows security, but um, it's related to management reporter since you can generate it straight to a shared folder here. Um, so to edit this, we would just uh, right click, like I said, properties, security, and we could add whatever user um, we felt needs to access this um, folder. So, um, we'll just add one here just to show you. And underneath that, you can, um, you can have specific permissions, um, what they're able to do. Anybody that's, that's going to be um, looking at this is going to at least need uh, read access within the folder. But... Uh, you can have read and write access if you want the person to be able to open the uh, report and make changes or to be able to generate reports to that folder, they're going to need write access as well. So a generator role in Management Reporter would need write access to the folder it would go to. Um, so that is mostly, uh, that's pretty much all of Management Reporter security. It's just to... to reiterate uh, what we went over. There's multiple portions. So there's the, the report designer portion where you can uh, set company access, put people in groups, um, modify the specific user permissions um, by putting them in different roles. And you can also add security reporting trees according to how you want to limit access to certain levels of your organization. You can protect and unprotect reports or their building blocks by using the um, protect icon up at the top. And then there's the report viewer side where you can add permissions to the folders that it'll automatically generate to, to the library itself. Or you can add permissions um, using Windows security to a shared folder um, that you would generate the report to from here. So that is going to cover everything. Feel free to uh, email us at info at ibisinc.com. And uh, thanks for joining us and have a great rest of the day.